Hey guys, what's going on everybody? Yeah, right here, I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick lemon ritual or lemon spell, okay? This one, let's talk about the lemon right quick. The lemon, when you think of it, what do you imagine? You imagine bright yellow, fresh and clean, um, citrusy, tangy, whatever it is, you must know that these magical little fruits have a lot to offer in cleansing, protection, happiness, and summer spiritual workings, all right? Now, using lemons for spirituality or magic does not just mean dark magic or left-handed works. We are using lemons to amplify our situations, our intentions, and not harming anyone with this one, okay? Adding lemons to return to cinder and removing hexing spells is simply for our own peace of mind, your manifestations, intentions, and improved mental health. Now, let's talk about the lemon for sure in its magical properties. Taking a lemon's magical properties in the gender um, area, it is a feminine receptive type of magical um, herb, okay? The planet is under the sun and the moon. The element is under water. Um, the chakra is the solar plexus. Astrology is cancer and Pisces. And the benefits, that's what I love to know about. The benefits is cleansing, purification, unity. You can use it for uplifting you, longevity, clarity, friendship, happiness, rejuvenation, awareness, love, fidelity, new beginnings, and cutting hexes. So now that I set up, I'm gonna show you how to remove hexes using a lemon spell, okay? This is a lemon spell that I use. If you feel like a heaviness where you um, feel like you need to remove some negative energy, this is great as well. You wanna do this once a month or at least however many times you need it throughout the month, it's cool but you need to be doing this to cut and remove all hexes, known and unknown. This particular spell is also known as a banishing um, people spell or banishing spell using a lemon. You can also use it for that as well. Um, it helps you remove any hexes, which is just like um, bad things directed at you, um, uncrossing work, constant bad luck. If you have that type of energy on you, do this spell or anything else you want to banish from your life. This is a great ritual. Okay. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a whole lemon. You're going to need some chili powder or chili peppers. Um, you're going to need some cloves, some cloves in this work. You're gonna need some twine or thin rope or black string, whatever you have on hand. You're gonna need a black candle for the wax. Um, you can place an incense for cleansing, which I have burning in the background. You're gonna need a knife to cut your lemon. This is my uh, athame, and I only use this in ritual work. You're gonna need paper and a pen. And also for me, I'm gonna add some um, salt in this work. You will also need some coffin nails. I'm gonna add this as well. So coffin nails I do offer in the shop as well, okay? I always... Um, Easy cleanup for me, y'all. So I'm gonna put something down and this is just parchment paper. So whenever I'm done with the ritual, I can just gather everything up that I did not use and throw it out in one. So I'm just that type. All right, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna cleanse the lemon within the incense smoke, okay? Cleanse your lemon within the smoke. Then you're gonna cut it in half. And when you're cutting it in half, please state your intentions in your head. You already know this. Okay. And I will clean this off after the ritual is done. I'll cleanse it and clean it, okay? 
So now that you have your lemon cut in half, on a piece of paper, you're going to write down the thing that you want to banish. And then you're going to stick it into the cut half of the lemon. So I have, this is the size that I'm going to use. Just fold it small enough so you can place it in the lemon. And I'm going to hold that off right quick to the side. And I'm going to add in the um, herbs that I gave you. All right. So first I'm going to start off with the chili peppers. I'm going to cut it a little bit so it'll fit. With my athame, make sure you're speaking your intention. And if you need to put holes, then use your knife and just carve some holes into the lemon, okay? I'm going to place that on one half of the lemon. Speaking my intentions or saying um, a psalm. And this is also a great, again, for return to sender work, banishing work as well, cleansing work. This is it. Um, we're going to add some of the salt. And you can use black salt, kosher salt, any kind of salt. Add that to it. And then I'm going to take the cloves. And you're going to press a couple of the cloves. About I resonate with the with this type of work. I resonate with the number six. So I'm probably going to use six cloves in here. You're going to pop it down inside of the lemon. while speaking your intention. Give me one more. All right, done. You're gonna seal the lemon. Make sure you place your intention inside of the lemon. I'm gonna place it in this half. Cut it a little bit so it'll go down in the hole. Place that intention in that lemon. Now you're going to take some of your coffin nails. And I do mine in the inside of the lemon instead of the outside. But however you feel like the need to, okay? But I'm going to place mine inside of the lemon. And you don't need much. I'm just going to use a couple, probably about two nails. In this lemon. On In the inside. And you're going to seal it with the wax and just seal it and also some other um, rituals you can do with this particular spell as well the lemon spell, it is so much. It's not just for hex and work, y'all. Somebody asked me about can some more um, banishing rituals that people can do. And the lemon is great for that. And you seal it. Just go around the edges, y'all. Watch your hands. You can do sun magic with the lemon as well. You can do um, right sigils with the lemon juice because it'll disappear. 
It's great work to do. And just keep sealing all the way around, y'all. And it's just, I just, and I mean, it's just some powerful work. Just seriously. Who do is power, baby? And look, it's sealed. Go all the way down. And just go seal it as much as you need to while thinking the intention in your head of removal, of return to sender, whoever that person is known as well as unknown. Banishing work. Cleansing work. You need to cleanse your Ori. Use a lemon. Go all the way around. Watch your fingers. All right. Now that that is sealed. What you're going to do next is you're going to tie the lemon with the rope or the thread that you have or the black thread. Okay. You're going to just tie the lemon. Use as much as you like. Cut that off. I'm going to work this lemon. And if you are wanting me to do this ritual for you, just hit me up. And I'll do it for you, okay? For a small fee. And then I'm just going to tie it the other way. And do whatever resonates with you uh -oh, within the ritual, okay? There's no certain particular way to do it. It's just the power behind the intent, okay? If that makes sense. If you have the power behind the intent, then the ritual will go without a hitch. But if you ain't got no power, let somebody do it for you, okay? So you set the intent. Close it off both ways. I'm going to wrap it. I'm thinking about what I'm binding, what I'm ridding of, what I'm returning. You're going to tie that part off as well. And this is my lemon ritual. And me, I like nice work, so I will clip all of these ends off. Clip right here. That's just me. Whatever you guys are led to do, just do it. And that is the lemon spell. This particular lemon, you're going to discard when the spell is complete by throwing in the trash or removing the nails and burying it in a place away from your home. Usually the crossroads, okay? That is a powerful lemon spell or return to cinder spell or even banishing spell that you guys can do at your own leisure whenever you need this type of work. All right. Again, I will be um, offering this in the shop if you would like for me to do yours for you. It shall be done. Just reach out to me or go to the shop visionsbiblestory.com and uh, type in a lemon spell. And there you go. And just request for me to do it for you. And you will receive a private video once it's done, all right? It usually takes about 7 to 10 days. All righty, y'all. That is the Lemon Spell. I'll talk to you guys later. If you need anything, you already know where to hit me at. VisionsBibleStory.com or you can message the shop. 704-284-9898. Many blessings. Bye, y'all.